This video is an introduction on how to use your keyboard. Here is a sample of a keyboard. Here's the letters section, and that's a zoom in so you can see it better. Here's the function section. Again, zoomed in for more detail. Here are the numbers. You'll see them on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. You can use either one, and we'll be walking you through that later. And we've zoomed that in so you can see the numbers better. Here's a sample of a laptop keyboard. This is the numbers section, and you'll notice that there's just one numbers section. There's not one on the right-hand side like you saw on the previous keyboard. Here are the letters. Here's the function section. Touchpad. Well, what's a touchpad? It's very similar to a mouse. You take your finger, you put it on the touchpad, and when you move it to the right, the cursor moves to the right. If you move it to the left, the cursor moves to the left, you can move it up and down, and so forth. It also has a left click. So when you click on that, it's similar to the mouse, it's like a left click. And you also have a right click. This is a registration form, and we're going to use this to help you walk through the keyboard and how to use text, numbers, etc. The registration form is used on the Village's Computer Club website. First thing you need to do is put in your Village ID. So here's the number section on the right hand side of your keyboard. You can also use the number section on the top hand side, for example on your laptop. If you're using the right hand side, you need to make sure that it's activated and the way you do that is you click on the number lock. Then what you need to do is move your cursor to the village's ID. You do that and left click and what would happen is you would see like a flashing point of your cursor to know that you've actually moved it to that particular section of the registration form. Next what you do is you type in a number like five and then you continue with all the fives. And obviously it would be your ID wouldn't be all fives. <laughs> next thing you do is you need to move down to the next portion of the registration form. And the way you do that is you go and you click on the tab button. And when you click on the tab button, what you'll see is that the cursor moves down and it would be flashing, but you don't see it here on this screen. Then you start to type in the name. The next thing is you type in your first name. And the first letter needs to be a capital. Well, how do you do that? What you do is you take your finger and you put it on the shift button and then click on F, for example. And you continue to do that, R, E, D. Then you continue to type in, like your last name, you'll see up there Benson, then start to do email address, you see their test. And let's say you had to do an underscore. Well, what's an underscore? What you see here on this key is there's an underscore on the top and underneath is called a dash. Well, how do you do the underscore? Well, what you need to do is press on the shift button and then on that key and the underscore shows up. If you didn't do the shift, it would be a dash. Then you type in a number like 110. And then let's say you got to put in the at, which is very typical in an email address. So again, you press the shift button and the number 2 and the at button shows up at the top. Then what you need to do is type in the email, like Hotmail, for example, Gmail, etc., and I'll show you Hotmail. Then the next thing you need to do is put in a dot. Well, where's the dot? Well, you see the dot here, which is on the right-hand side of the keyboard. And when you click on the dot, it shows up. And there's another place on the keyboard in the numbers section where you can use the dot button. 
then the next thing you need to do is type in the N like com. After you finish the email address, then you put in your phone number. Well, you put it in like on the number section here, like 352, but then you have to put a dash in. And we mentioned in the previous slide one way to do it, but here's an easier way on the numbers section. You just go to the upper right hand side, click on that, and you see the dash. Then, then what you need to do is continue to fill out the phone number. And then the next thing you need to do is put in your mailing street address. To learn more about key definitions, there's a website which is listed at the top. and You'll see a sample below. And that link is also in the Village's Computer Basics website. And you'll see that link there as well. Thanks for watching this video on how to use a keyboard.